Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you uh, for coming here to City Hall this afternoon. As uh, Chief Executive Officer of the City of Harrisburg, I have a responsibility uh, to ensure that uh, the city is being managed properly, uh, all accounts are in order, and that City Treasury continues to function uh, in the midst of uh, this uh, dilemma. Uh, I have uh, taken an approach which is basically to consult with City Council. I consulted with uh, President Wanda Williams yesterday. And uh, we agreed on the selection of an interim treasurer, a conservator, somebody who would watch over the office in the meantime. We recognize that according to statute, once John Campbell resigns, and we fully expect that John Campbell will resign, uh, City Council will have 30 days to appoint a new treasurer. The process will be very similar to the process that was recently undertaken to fill the City Council opening. So uh, 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 citizens will be encouraged to apply. City Council will undergo some form of interview process. They will be discussing that tonight at their City Council meeting. So I would uh, tune back in to see exactly how that will work. Uh, and uh, they have 30 days to, to appoint a new treasurer. In the meantime, uh, we will be appointing a uh, interim conservator treasurer. And in consultation with City Council, and in consultation with the Controller's Office, and in consultation with Treasury and our Finance Department, uh, we have chosen Paul Wambach Paul, uh, as many of you know, uh, was for 20 years the treasurer of the city of Harrisburg. He's had uh, 32 years in public service. Uh, he's uh, extremely well respected, both he and his entire family, and he is going to come in and oversee the office to make sure that there are regular operations and to begin the process of oversight, which will be necessary. We've also asked our independent accountants at M Mayor Dussel, uh, to uh, increase the level of scrutiny, which they are currently um, uh, uh, looking into for the 2013 books. They're currently on staff doing the 2013 audit. Uh, they're going to do a number of different things. I have them outlined uh, in a letter to ensure uh, that everything is correct in the uh, 2013 books with regard to Treasury. I've also asked the Controller's Office, and joined by Charlie DeBrunner, and uh, also Bill Linebacker. They're, they are going to do a variety of uh, spot checks on cash handling and all sorts of other things regarding the 2014 operations of Treasury. Uh, Paul will oversee that uh, and uh, I think uh, provide a, 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 a seamless continuity in the operations of Treasury during this interim period in which uh, we will be operating uh, without a Treasurer. If John Campbell were not to resign, and again, we fully expect him to resign, but if he were not, we will be going to court uh, uh, to request court intervention uh, to settle that once and for all. But uh, I want to introduce you to Paul, uh, who many of you already know. Let him say a few words to the public, and uh, then we're happy to take uh, some questions. Paul. Thank you, Welcome. Mayor. I should, I should also note that Paul is doing this as a volunteer. Uh, we've brought him back from retirement. Uh, and he has kindly stepped up to be uh, able to assist us during this time. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, it was indeed um, shocking to me when I got a call from the mayor on Friday to, and when he explained to me why he did call. Um, I was fully retired. I, I was enjoying my retirement. And, um, but when he did call, I was happy to help, happy in a way that I feel that I needed to be here to help my city, to help my, the constituents of the city, and to pay back once again um, with my heart. I love this place. This place has to know that they're protected. This place will know that they're protected. As far as I know, with the protection in place at, at City Treasury, with the help of my deputy, I will say, Celia Spiker, who I brought in and who's still in place, she's been here nine years, and the staff that I have in place in City Treasury, much of which 
remain in city treasury, we will get through this and we'll get through this together. With the safeguards that are in place, I do not foresee much in the way of a problem in the city, but I will be here to assure the people that it will be done and done properly. With the audit being done now and the expansion of that audit, and with Charlie and Bill's help uh, in, control, in the controller's office, we will go through every book necessary and overturn and go through every thing we have to to ensure the people that the money here is intact. As you know and as you are aware, that the trouble with the Treasury is where he was employed, not here. And I assure you that when the City Council appoints a treasurer, I will be happy to relinquish my job and go back to retirement. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Paul. Sure. And it should be noted the City Council can act uh, upon there being a vacancy very quickly or if they could take up to 30 days. It should also be noted uh, that we have no reason to believe, and I believe the DA has reiterated this as well, we have no reason to believe that there are any irregularities uh, within the city treasury at all. In fact, we have a number of checks and double checks and systems in place to prevent this sort of thing from happening. That said, we are going to take the extra effort to make sure uh, in light of these circumstances. And again. These charges stem from uh, John Campbell's time at a private nonprofit, not at the city of Harrisburg, uh, and uh, we have no reason to believe that there are any problems in the city. But day-to-day -day operations will continue. They will um, move forward. We have a united team. Everyone here, including Celia, who Paul introduced, is united to making sure that things run smoothly and accountably. We will make uh, all uh, uh, findings public and uh, we've put Paul in charge of sort of overseeing that. So I will take questions. Dave. Uh, when did you first find out and uh, what was your first reaction? I found out late last week. Uh, I was informed by our chief of police uh, who had been informed by Dauphin County uh, that an arrest was imminent. Uh, and we formulated a plan and I think as uh, Paul stated, I called him on Friday. Uh, we weren't sure if this was going to happen today or yesterday. Uh, but we were, we were ready for it to happen. We have uh, cut off uh, Mr. Campbell's internet access. Uh, he uh, uh, will, will not be uh, welcomed here on the premises. Uh, and uh, we've taken some pro, you know, proactive uh, actions in that sense. We do expect that he will resign uh, at the strong urging of the DA's office. Yep. Uh, c complete uh, shock uh, and dismay. Uh, as elected officials, we uh, have a, a high obligation, the highest obligation, to safeguard the public's trust. Uh, uh, I believe we were all together on, uh, on that mission of pure accountability and, and, uh, and, and good oversight, uh, and I was very saddened to learn. Yes, sir. Uh, is the city treasurer's position considered a full-time job? Okay, it is not considered a full-time job, and there may be a uh, misperception among, among the public exactly what the treasurer does. The uh, reality is, I believe the pay is 20000 correct? Uh, and uh, it is essentially a part-time position. It is the deputy treasurer, Celia, who is uh, with us, who actually runs the office on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, who has uh, the control and oversight of uh, the various accounts, uh, and who manages uh, the office. Um, uh, I don't know when the last time John Campbell was in the office, but, uh, but it is a part-time position and it has a lot of, of checks and balances already built into it. Okay. Mayor, do you know yes. if the money that was allegedly taken by him had any impact on uh, the city replacing the light pole? Um, yes. Uh, the, the, the alleged theft was discovered uh, when uh, Lighten Up Harrisburg went to uh, reimburse the city for its expenditures for the street lights that we put in on Front Street several weeks ago, about a month ago. Uh, they had pledged $24,000 uh, to reimburse the city for those poles and those lights. Um, the city went ahead and made those expenditures on the promise of that reimbursement, 
and as of this moment that reimbursement has not been made to the city. Uh, I would expect whatever comes of this there will be restitution and the city will eventually be reimbursed for those lights but it is fair to say the city was not uh, has not yet been reimbursed by LightNet Parisburg. Is it fair to is the 8000 out of that 24000? Yes. And I it was it was actually and I believe the DA has reported it was the process of going to pay the city the $24,000 that LightNet Parisburg believed it had in its account to reimburse for the lights. Uh, when they discovered uh, the missing funds. And that led to the, um, the reconciliation of the books, the, um, the, the relaying of the information to the DA's office and basically to where we are here today. But we've not yet received a check from Lightning Up Harrisburg. Do you expect, you mentioned a deadline on when you know, presentation, do you have a, a specific deadline where you would want a presentation before taking them to court? I believe we would go to court tomorrow uh, and I would expect the resignation to come swiftly. Mayor, on a personal note, uh, you were close with John. You introduced John in his victory speech that was held at your business in Town Tavern in 2009. In Town Tavern? Tavern. James. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the wrong going now. Yeah. <laughs> but just personal, I mean, you're close to this person, and now you're looking at his political career basically come to an end. Uh, it's complete turmoil. It's bad for life in the city. Well, uh, from the city standpoint, I think we're doing everything uh, decisively and prudently. We've uh, assembled a team to make sure that operations aren't impacted, to restore public trust, uh, and to make sure that Treasury operates on a regular basis. On a personal level, um, it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very sad and distressing story, absolutely. And it, it took me completely by shock, as I'm sure it took uh, the general public. Um, on the Treasury's position, does that come also with uh, it, no, no is the answer. So that will not be affected. Does, does the treasurer have any direct access to accounts? Can they write checks from those accounts, or is that the Generally speaking, no. Uh, there were a couple of accounts which John Campbell had direct access to, and we've already uh, spoken uh, to the banks involved, and uh, we'll be making sure that everything is accounted for there. But in a general sense, uh, there is a double check on everything. Celia, would you like to speak to, to the process of uh, oversight that you normally have? The checks required for signatures yeah. of the controller and the treasurer. So the controller signs first, and they cannot be cashed without both signatures. Yeah. OK. That's good. So he was yes. using the money, as I understand it, to pay college and medical bills. Did you ever provide any indication that he was struggling? No. Truly a shock. Truly a shock. Have you had a chance to talk to him since, you know, no. he charged him? No. Uh, and is there any cost associated with expanding the product? No. Uh, not uh, under the, the parameters that we've discussed so far. Now, if they were to find something in regularity, yes. If we had to expand into a, a full-fledged forensic audit, uh, absolutely. But. Uh, we are uh, not anticipating that we're going to discover any, any irregularities, and the initial check in all the various places uh, is not going to be at ex uh, extended cost to the city. Mayor, do you have an estimate yep. when the audit will be complete? They're already uh, doing the 2013 audit right now. They're going to they're provide a higher level of scrutiny to Treasury <coughs> immediately, uh, and that's per our conversation with uh, the auditors yesterday. Okay, you're past the, the first deadline. You've been right. Additional time, and made notices to mm -hmm. other reporting agencies. But is there any goal to have this done uh, November first? Uh, that would be a question for Bruce. Are we Mid middle of November is our target? Yep. Certainly this year. And as I say, they were in the building uh, already doing a lot of that work. Yes. Was Mr. Campbell arrested here at the city hall office? Or was yes. I, I don't believe he's been arrested yet. Uh, I believe he is. I believe he's out of town. Uh, and uh, that I would refer all such questions to the DA's office, but I suspect, uh, I anticipate a resignation to come with that arrest. Uh, there was some mention of, I think on this Facebook page, you've been traveling recently. That was not travel connected to Harrisburg, the city of Harrisburg. Uh, no. And just, sorry, to follow up. I thought I heard somebody say not anymore when I asked about the pension healthcare thing. Was the city treasurer's position at one time? That's correct. When, when did that change? Uh, under the Thompson administration, <coughs> I'm not sure whether it was 2009 or 10, part-time employees 
were not uh, eligible for pension or health care benefits. Okay. All right. Well, thank you all very much for coming. Thank you, sir.